Hello and welcome back. So as you can see from the background, I have a new espresso machine. Okay, so this is just a loaner, okay? I'm not keeping it. I only gonna have for maybe today and tomorrow at the most. By the way, if someone give it to me, I don't think I'm gonna take it. The reason is, oh, let me show you why. Okay, but after that, I'm gonna show you how this machine works. The reason is, this height of this machine, it's about, let's see, actually about 18 inch, okay? It's about 18 inch. And then my counter space on that corner is about 17 inch. So it's not gonna fit. I mean, even with I remove my, maybe remove, uh, remove the footing on it, but uh, I don't like that either. So, plus this, this thing is extremely heavy. It's about, or, I don't, you know, I just lift it. It's like at least like 75 to 100 pounds. Really, really heavy. Anyway, but this is 58 millimeter uh, portal filter. And I mean, as you can see, this thing is tank, okay? So this is Rensselio uh, S24. It's been around for who knows how many years. This, I know for a fact, this is over 20 years old because I know. And let's see, so this morning I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some coffee using, so this is dual boiler, I believe, because you can do steam. By the way, steam is pretty good. It's pretty strong. And, but this one does not, uh, this one does not, does not have PID like Brista Express. Again, Brista Express is more like consumer express machine. This thing is like, I mean, commercial grade for sure. Everything is all metal. Everything is extremely well built and fantastic. Anyway, so let's make some coffee, okay? I'm gonna pull the shot. I got my niche grinder here. Again, the great thing is this is 58 millimeters, so I like that very much. So let's pull the first shot. I'm gonna be using uh, Good Brothers coffee from yesterday. Let's see here. I got some left, not much. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be using 17 gram over. Yep, see you 17 gram. You know what, mate? You know what? Let's use 18 because yeah, let's use 18. Why not? So let's use 18 gram. Actually, I can't wait to try this one because. I did play with this machine before, but I was using with a uh, Rancheria grinder instead of my niche, so hopefully we're gonna get a decent shot. By the way, if you are new to the channel, uh, my name is Hoon. My channel is all about making better coffee and I've been playing with Brista Express for over the last two years now. I mean it's been a really good machine but I mean this one I mean luckily a friend of mine loaned it to me for a few days. I mean I can't wait to try this. So let's see here. Let's take a look. So I got 18 gram in, I got 18 gram out. So if you guys are looking for like single dosing, I mean niche is the way to go. So so this is 58 millimeter dosing cup from Niche. Simply go like this. That's it. You gotta have a nice. So now you're gonna have a very nice, uh, smooth puck here. Can you take the temperature of the water? Someone wants to know the default temperature. Okay, someone wants to know the default temperature of the water. You know what? Uh, let's do that, okay, hold on one second. So let me. Ethan, can you grab the, you know what that is? I'm sending my son over there to grab it. No, no, no. Top. No. Abby. No. Okay, so by the way, someone wants to know the default temperature, so let's measure that, okay? 
sticker. So, I'm just going to measure. It's not the right way to do it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do a print the cup, okay? So it's about 185 coming out from the group head, which means we are looking at inside the uh, machine there, you're looking around 190. So pretty much right on the uh, temperature. So, okay. So again, the ground is very floppy too. So I'm just gonna temp. Unfortunately, I don't have 58 millimeter uh, distribution tool, so I'm just going to use the, the stock, uh, their temper here. Just going to give you everything nice and even. Nice and clean. You know, I'm just going to polish it. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do 1 to 2 ratio right now. So I'm going to put, what, 18 gram in around 36 gram out. Again, it comes to group head, uh, the, the, uh, let's say the spout to, for my glass is very, very tight as we can see from there. So, but you know what? Just make sure everything's aligned. Here we go. I'm going to change the angle for you so you guys can see it. Okay. I'm looking for 36 gram. You know what? Let's time it too. Let's time it. Let's see how long it's gonna to take to 36 gram. Okay. I'm gonna start the time. for 36 gram. Around 27 seconds. Actually, shot looks amazing. Shot looks really good. I mean, I just dialed in. So this is my first time Pulling the shots. It looks really good there. You know what? I need, a, uh, I need a spoon. Hold on a sec. Cheers. Okay, here we go. Wow. They're really good. They're fantastic. It's just perfectly balanced. And this is, this is quite something. It's not, it's very balanced and what, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not bitter or sour. You know what, this is actually, I can drink this. It's not bad, not bad at all. I mean, it's really, really good. You know what, I got some left here. Uh, let's do one more, okay? Let's, uh, uh, let's make, uh, let's see the steam power, okay? So let's make some cappuccino this time. Let's make cappuccino. So again, I'm just, pucks come right up. Everything is nice and dry. So compared to Brista Express, the shot quality, uh, you know what? It's, okay, don't get me wrong, okay? Brista Express is fantastic. But comes to 
this commercial machine with a 58 millimeter uh, 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 pore filter. I don't know, some, some, um, I think you get much balanced taste over a Bristol spread for some reason. Could be my imagination as well, so. Because, it, you know, because, just because this is like, you know, new to me, so. Uh, let, let's do one more shot, okay? Uh, I'm, this time I'm gonna make cappuccino and see. Uh, let's find out the steam power. But again, the steam power on this thing is really good. I mean, they're fantastic steam power, so. And I think this is dual boiler as well, which means you can pull the shot at and steam at the same time. I mean, correct me wrong, but this is S24 from Rensselaer. So, Rensselaer or Rensselaer? I'm, I'm not sure, I mean. Okay, so let's do one more. Let's do one more. Someone asked me, are you planning to upgrade the Bravo? You know what? The problem with this, uh, again, earlier, I mean, this thing is over 18 inch, okay? And it's not gonna fit in my kitchen over there. Um, uh, that's the only spot I have on my kitchen counter. Um, so most likely not with this, okay? I know uh, Rensselio makes the uh, Silva. The Pro, that's a PID version of it, and dual boiler, that just came out. So uh, if I have the money, I'm looking at that machine because that fits perfectly on my kitchen. So again, I mean, you have to think about, you know, the size of the machine and the quality is fantastic, but the size, size is the really matters in the home kitchen. If you are in the shop, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, this is really good for like small coffee shop, but comes to home uh something i have to think about that okay i'm just gonna measure our, our, another 18 gram again if you matched up with you know really good grinder man this thing is awesome okay so i'm gonna do another i got 14 grams. So what I'm gonna do is, I got some little bit of espresso blend from the other day. It's not the optimal, okay? But, you know, I think this time I'm gonna do 17 in, 17 in on gram. Uh, yeah, last one I did one to two ratio. So about 18 gram in 36 gram out. This time I'm gonna do 17 gram and then around 34 gram out. Okay. Let me go get some water. I'm not the Again, I mean, like with a niche, 17 gram in, like 17 gram out, just, I mean, difference by maybe 0.1 or 0.02 gram off. So this thing is really fantastic. Okay, so one of you guys make latte, just make sure store your uh, milk picture in the refrigerator with milk because you want to be cold as possible. So I'm just gonna put the milk. So I'm gonna do cappuccino. Okay, so again with 58 millimeter, I mean, you can get so many different kind of espresso tools and just simply put it in. That's it. This is all you gotta do. So you're gonna have very nice and fluffy uh, the bat to work with. I'm just gonna make sure things are nice and flat. Give it a good temp. Nice and even temp. And I'm, I'm gonna polish it a little bit. By the way, this temper is just a stock. I think uh, 
He got from the with when he purchased the machine about 20 years ago. Everything's all banged up and it's not good. But I'm just gonna flush out the hot water. I'm looking for 36 gram or so. Okay. You know what? Let's do one more time. Give you guys a better view here. Okay, 136 gram. I'm sorry, 34 gram. I mean, look at that. I mean, this looks amazing. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. Okay, and then let's quickly steam the milk. Milk should be done in really quick. You don't have to wait too long for this. Okay, and then I'm gonna wipe it clean. Flush again. So what I've been doing is I just transfer to other milk jug here. Let's do some latte art. Break the crema. Here we go. You know what, this milk is, again, goodness, it's not good. I think I didn't introduce too much, uh, I mean, not enough air in there, so milk is somewhat flat, so that's what happens. But let's try anyway. Coffee is wonderful, but milk is terrible, okay. Again, there's something I need to work on, but this, so with, uh, so this is all so much powerful than uh, Brista Express that there's something you have to practice and adjust. So it's failed me miserably this time. But again, I think you guys get the idea of this machine. I mean, so far, I mean, I'm just loving this. This is really nice to use it. But uh, comes to home use, man. I mean, I wish I had a bigger kitchen. So I can actually use this at home, but it's not, it's not that practical for me, okay? I don't know about you, but just let me know in the comment. Maybe if you guys have money or someone give it to you, there's something you guys can use this at home. The reason is, I mean, this thing is huge. The width is about 18 by 18. And then, th this thing is monster. Uh, so this one is just the loaner, okay? I think you can get one from eBay for like 500 bucks. I saw one, decent shape. I mean, if you can get one for like 300 bucks. Again, this thing is old. And, but the think about the, even though eBay selling for like 300 bucks, they're gonna charge you like 200 bucks for the shipping. So if you can find one in locally, uh, check out Craigslist. And you can get some pretty good deal from Craigslist because this thing is, I mean, monster. I mean, huge, really heavy as well, so. But once in a while, you guys find a really good deal. I mean, like my bravery infuser at work, I picked that one for around 200 bucks. 
uh, up in Phoenix. So, I mean, I have to drive to Phoenix. I'm in Tucson, but I mean, Bravo Infuser, you're looking at what, 500 bucks, 579 or so. So, I don't mind driving a couple hours up there, picking, a one, uh, picking one for around $200. Because once in a while, you guys can find some really great deal on uh, Bravo uh, coffee products. So make sure to check it out. Because in Tucson right now, I know some, some person, uh, I think one person is selling his infuser, infuser for around $300. So uh, something like that, you can you know, negotiate the price, maybe go down to maybe like $200, maybe $250. Because obviously, there is only a number of people who want to buy espresso machine. So... Anyway, so this machine has been, you know what, so far, I like it. But unfortunately, you know, I don't want to keep this at home. I mean, way too, way too big. Again, way too big for this. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Let's um, see. There's a question about the Breville. It says, could you mention what level of roast do you use? And have you tried changing the temperature on the Barista Express for different coffee beans? Okay, someone asking me about the how to change temperature. So I like, I like using medium to light roast. So with the darker roast, you don't need, so you don't want to be not as hot. Okay, so you want the lighter roast, you want a hotter as possible so you can extract more because lighter roast is a lot more dense. So it's a lot hotter to extract. So you need more hot water to push through that. With a darker roast, you know, you just, you don't need you don't need hot water so again I'm gonna put the link down below uh, later uh, I have a video on how to change temperature on Brista Express uh, because you can go plus two and plus four okay so whenever I use like medium to light roast I like to go uh, plus two whenever I use the darker roast I'm just stay with a default setting but again the lighter roast you want to be a little hotter then default. So I'm going to put the link down below how to change the temperature on that. Okay, we have another question there. On the barista, I can't seem to get the one to two ratio using the default two shot setting. She okay. She puts in 18 in and gets 33 out. Any ideas on how to get more oh, output? Oh, okay, someone asked me how to get one to two ratio on Brista Express. Uh, again, just to use the manual mode, not the, no, okay. Not the manual mode, just to do the program mode, doesn't matter. The two cup, it should be stopped in 60 seconds. So it's like 60 seconds, uh, one minute on and like one and a half minutes off, something like that. So just to use the two cup button there, just press it. Make sure you use the scale. Okay. And then you're just going to time it, just measure out 18 gram in and 36 gram out, you can stop. If you don't have enough time, which means your grinder setting is too fine. Okay, so you need to play with your grinder setting to get right ratio. So because you, you don't want to be too slow either. Okay, so so you want to be in that between I like between 25 and 30 seconds for the standard shots with like like commercial machines, but with Brista Express, I like between 30 and 35 seconds when I start the button. So, uh, make sure to check out my other video. I think I have how to, uh, let's see, adjust grinder settings. So, you might want to check it out as well. Someone asked me, what is the best budget grinder? Man, that is a tough question. Because uh, I think the Bratza Encore is really nice. Uh, that, I think they're they like a couple hundred bucks. Whereas the Encore is really good. But if, if you save some money and get a like Bratza uh, Sate like 270, they do a really great job as well. So Sate 270 is really good. Uh, so what is your budget? Your budget is like under 100, under 200. It's all depends on the, your budget. But uh, also don't forget the smart grinder too, okay? The Braver Smart Grinder is also really good. So they're around $150 range. I think it's $199, I think. Correct me, I'm wrong, guys, but it's under $200 there. So they're pretty good. 
So uh, Bravo Smart Grinder, internally, they are same as the Brista Express, but Smart Grinder has a lot more adjustment. Um, have you ever tried to dose more than 18 grams on Brista? Uh, someone asked me, have you tried more than 18 grams or more on my Brista Express? Uh, yes, I played with the 19, and no, it wasn't that great, so I like I like to use between 17 and 17.5 grand for the Brista Express because a lot easier to work with. Rather than because whenever you put 18 grand with like coarser setting, it's gonna be overflow. So it's gonna make a big mess. So I prefer 17, that's ideal for my machine. What do you think of 54 versus 58? Someone asked me 54 millimeter versus 58. Personally, I like 58 millimeter because you have a lot more options options to comes to express tools, and seems like I get a I don't know I don't know I think seems like I got a better balanced shot quality over 54 because 54 millimeter is more bright than 58. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that, guys. If you guys have both at home, I mean, seems like to me I. Had, 58 has more balanced taste than 50. No, 58 has more balanced taste than 58. So, no, I mean, the other way around. The 58 is better than 54, let's put it that way. But again, the 54 is really good too. But don't, so, uh, let's see here. How do you measure the filter size? How do you measure the filter size? Because the filter size pretty much is, comes with your machine, okay? The default, uh, like Bravo Vista Express, they are 54 millimeter. All the Bravo, except the, the dual boiler from Bravo. And so filter size is, hold on. So pretty much the, that's the, here's your filter size right there. So this is a diameter, dynam, a dynam, a dynameter of the, the size of filter. So my Vista Express is only 54. So. Again, the 54 has, so 54, you know what, hold on. Let me get the 54 millimeter filter baskets. So this is the 54. So 58 and 54. And then, but with the 50, Eight is not as shallow as 54. So 54 is a little, has more depth to it. So, I'm, again. Hopefully you guys reconnect there, hopefully. Reconnect? Okay, good, you guys are finally reconnected. Huh? So again, so make sure to check out the uh, Bristol Express, Gaza Classic, and Rens uh, Rensselaer Silva. I think that's a th three I, I highly recommend for your home machine because they are everything, uh, those machines are, everything is under $1,000 there. And that works fantastic. So uh, let's see. Guys are Classic and Rancho Leo, they use a 58. Bravo Brista Express only use 54 millimeters. So it's all depend on what you want. And Brista Express has built-in grinder, so you don't have to worry about buying a separate grinder like, you know, niche or whatever you need to get, but yeah. So it's all depend on what your budget and how much you want to spend time on your, you know, your coffee because it, coffee can be consumes you, okay? And because I spend about an hour every morning just dialed in, just right, make coffee for the family. I mean, if you guys enjoy that, definitely look at the separate, uh, setup machine plus grinder anyway uh, i hope this video helps if you guys like it uh, thumbs up and make sure follow me on instagram as well and see you guys next time